hello everyone and welcome to my channel i hope that you are all good so in today's video we have a red and purple acrylic design set i had a lot of fun doing this design so i hope you all enjoy it watching i have already done my tips and a clear base so we're ready to jump straight in to the design now for this design i asked on my channel a little while ago i think i've asked on the last couple of videos what color combinations you would like to see and the lovely care bear she suggested red purple and holographic silver now at first when i see this color combination i was a little bit like okay i would never normally put red and purple together and i was a little bit stumped at what to do so i kind of just grabbed some red and purple acrylics lots of different red and purpley glitters that i had in my collection and just winged it and then this is what I come up with. Now what I absolutely loved about this is I wanted some color combinations that would challenge me and push me out of my comfort zone. So thank you so much for this color combination because it definitely did push me out of my comfort zone. I really enjoyed how the set turned out in the end but throughout I was a little bit like is red and purple working together and how am I going to still make it look a little bit summery for the current season so i hope you enjoy this video and i also wanted to say a special thank you to care bear because she recently discovered my channel and she's watched and commented and on all of my videos which is really really sweet so thank you so much anyway let's jump in to the nails so whilst i was waffling on on this now i have created an extended nail bed as i wanted this now to be kind of like a color block of french so i have come in i've already created the shape of my smile line and here i'm just coming in and a building up the apex area so that I don't have to encapsulate this part of the nail. Now here I have used a CJP Fantasy but for the rest of the acrylics I am going to be using the Wow Bow acrylic system and also a lot of the glitters I've used in this set are either ones I've had a long time and I don't know their names or they're ones that have been discontinued. I will try my best to leave everything linked in the description box below but that's why I didn't go through today and show you what I was using because some of them aren't available to purchase anymore. So on to the pointer finger, I'm going to come in with the purple. Now, I do believe this is Mulberry from Wow Bow. I'll double check and pop it below. But it's a gorgeous deep purple. So I felt as though it went quite well with the red. Now, I've placed that down at the tip of the nail and blended it back as we're going to do a color fade, glitter fade on this nail. So I'm just coming in now with a multi-cut purple hex mix. I didn't want anything too i'm not too stressed about this glitter because i'm coming over the top with some chunkier glitters basically i just wanted a more finer glitter down so that i could get a nice neat cuticle application and then the glitter that i'm going to be using here and on the ring finger both of these are a limited edition glitter mix that i had from the now team and i loved this mix i love all of the mixes in that particular collection because they all had like an iridescent glittery base with different color chunky flowers and butterflies they were perfect glitters for the spring and summer season i love this one especially because it's got these really cute little purple flowers in there so i'm just fading that down keeping it all nice and simple really once i'm happy with where those chunky glitters are placed i'm going to come over the top and add in some holographic stars so this is where i needed to know i needed to add a little bit of silver in as that was one of the color combinations so that was why i was just adding in a little bit of the holographic stars here and there just to help the set flow and I really, really loved how this now turned out. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors and I love this glitter. So it worked really, really well. Now on the ring finger, we're going to do it very similar, but in with the red. So I'm coming in with Wow Bows. I think this one's Merlot or it might be Velvet, actually Velvet Red. Again, I'll double check and I'll pop it in the description box below because I'm not at my desk currently. So I've done the exact same there. I've covered the tip and blended that acrylic back. And then I'm coming in with a finer red glitter mix. Just working that in to that nail bed area and trying to get a nice neat cuticle area. When I'm picking up my glitters, I'm picking them up with a really small wet bead of clear acrylic. So I'm able to easily move them around and manipulate the glitters into place i'm mainly popping this down to get a nice neat cuticle area because it has got the finer glitters in here 
as well as the chunkier ones. Then I'm just going to blend that down. This does have some stars in it as well, but this was the only red glitter I could find that worked for the colour that I was going for that wasn't Christmassy. Then over the top of that, I'm going to come in with another one of those Nail Team glitters. This is very similar to the purple one, but the colours are more of an orangey, rusty red. And there's lots of iridescent red pieces in here as well, which you can't actually pick up at the moment. But once they have been capped and top coated, they really reflect a lot more. And again, I'm doing exactly the same as before, blending that down a little bit over the red acrylic and then tapping on a couple of holographic stars. For me, for this particular set, the middle finger is what's going to tie everything together. But onto the little finger, I wanted to do a marble with these colours. So I'm going to come in with the red, the purple, and then also that nude colour that I used for the extended nail bed. And I'm just going to marble these together. Now, I love the Wow Bow colours because they are very highly pigmented, but for some reason I do struggle doing marbles with them. I think it's because it's a little bit of a wetter system than what I'm used to. So I need to just play around with it to perfect my marbles because I did find that in this instance, the red was so pigmented it overtook a little bit. So I'm just working a little bit different to what I normally would when I'm doing a marble. I also, for some reason, started off at the tip area where usually when I do a marble, I find it a lot easier to start off down at that cuticle area but as you can see I'm just working my way down the nail placing down small wet beads of those acrylics and then just marbling them together using the tip of my brush now usually in my sets I don't like to mix brands so if I'm using CJP I'll use all CJP if I'm using Wow Bow, I'll use all Wow Bow, etc etc but for this particular set I didn't have a core color from Wow Bow that didn't have a shimmer or glitter to it so that was why I used my CJP Fantasy and that is also one of my absolute favourite core colours as well. So I'm just tapping that all into place around that cuticle area. It is a little bit trickier to get a neater cuticle area with a marble when you've worked from tip to cuticle. It's a lot easier when you start at the cuticle area. But I was quite happy with this marble. So what I'm going to do now is just pop on some of the glitters. So I've just tipped out some of the purple mix and some of that ready orangey mix. And I'm just picking up certain bits and just placing a few little bits down. As I said, these particular glitters do have a little bit of an iridescent effect so it's a little bit tricky to see them when they're being placed down but it all comes together once they have been capped and then I'm going to add on some of those stars I did just wash over the nail with a really wet wash of clear acrylic just so these glitters would hold down in place because it's really really hot at the moment so my acrylic underneath was setting quite quickly so just that wash of clear acrylic will hold everything in place until we encapsulate so this is what our design is looking like so far and it was looking a little bit random. So this is the nail that I felt tied everything together. Off camera I did file my extended nail bed just to make it a little bit more crisp and then I'm just coming in with Wow Bow's Silver Liquor and I'm just creating a small line here but I don't want it to cover the entire tip so I'm just building up a really thin smile line now the wow bow colors are not strength powders so I like to paint them on and then you need to encapsulate them in clear so I'm just getting a rough shape using that silver acrylic and then I'm going to encapsulate and file this as well so I'm just doing my best to get that color as neat as possible. I'm not stressing too much about the shape as we're going to create the shape with our clear acrylic. So I'm coming over the top of that with the Wow Bow Clear, just taking it all directly over the top. It doesn't matter if this goes down on to our nude color because we can file off any of that excess. And then here is where I'm carving out that shape for that smile line. I did need to build it up a little bit more because you want to make sure you have built that up enough so that you can file it and also so that you have enough thickness for the nail. I'm making sure to get right down into those wings, patting it all out so it's nice and even and then using the edges of my brush just to get that as neat as possible. But off camera, I'm going to allow it to set and then I filed it crisp. Now, whilst I was waiting for this to set, I did encapsulate the rest of the nails. So all we've got left to do is to finish off this tip. So I'm coming in with all of the glitters that I've used on the previous nails. So I'm coming in with those two finer glitters first of all, and I'm just going to blend them together ever so slightly obviously we've only got a small surface area left to work on so I'm being really careful that neither of the two colors overtake too much 
and then over the top of the finer glitters we're going to tap on some of the chunkier glitters so i tried to just get a couple of the smaller purple flowers and the smaller ready color flowers and i don't think i added any stars to this because i sort of felt as though we've got the silver there in the clear acrylic so i didn't want to add any of the stars so i'm just adding on those chunkier pieces of glitter i'm kind of being a little bit picky i've tipped them out and i'm just picking out the ones that i want and then just washing over with clear acrylic to kind of hold any down that weren't staying where i wanted them to stay i wanted this tip to look really full coverage so i didn't want you to be able to see any clear tip through there and then as you can see, it's just ever so slightly transitioned from red to purple. But this now included all three of those colours. So I felt as I just brought all of the set together. If I was doing this on myself or if you needed a thumbnail for a client, then I probably would do a very similar to this on the thumbnail or maybe of an ombre with all the colours as well. So now we have got the glitters down, we need to encapsulate the rest of that tip. So I'm just coming in with the clear acrylic and encapsulating everything in. And then we're ready to file. I did do all of the filing off camera as I find it quite tricky to file on the glamour liz. Really, really soon, hopefully I'll have an acrylic video up doing my own nails so then I can leave in some filing. I did also really quickly want to say I am still open to colour combination suggestions or any particular colours or sets, designs, whatever that you would like to see. Pop it in the comments below and I'm happy to give it a go. So this is what the nails looked like once I had filed them into shape and buffed them. I cleaned away all of the dust and all of that jazz. So we're ready to come in with our top coat and bring back all of that shine. And this was where this set really come to life because there was lots and lots of glitters. Once you come in and add that top coat, everything just comes to life and brings all the set together. So I loved top coating this set of nails. So I'm just applying a thin coat of the Wow Bow top coat. And then once I have applied that to all of the nails, we're going to pop these in to cure. And just look at the sparkle on that tip. I really, really loved how the middle finger turned out. It was my favorite nail in this set. And I do love the shine of this top coat. It's such an amazing top coat. It's a really thin consistency, but it has such a glass like finish. So I'm going to apply that top coat, pop these in secure, and that's the end of the design. So this was definitely a different yet fun colour combination for me. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. Let me know what you think of this colour combination in the comments below. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below as it does really help my channel. Lots and lots of love. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.